Stockholm World Water Week uh, in the Water Cube with uh, uh, three lovely guests. Uh, let, let me start with the first one. Could you please put up your badge? Abdullah, uh, could you just briefly introduce yourself? Yeah, uh, I'm Abdullah Sunu. I come from uh, Pakistan and I have recently completed my master's from Riley Institute of Technology and it is a great, great opportunity to have here as a junior reporter and we are uh, supposed to attend our interested uh, events and uh, to get information new, what's new, what's next, mm -hmm. or what we need in the future. Okay. I just make it simple that uh, if there is a magic in this world, then it is only in the water. Great, thank you very much. Uh, next person, could you please put up your badge? Uh, the lovely Britta, is that yes, correct? Yes, Britta. Uh, I'm from Gothenburg and I'm a ge uh, geographer and I'm also a junior reporter in the same team as Abdullah. And my team is uh, about uh, responding to socioeconomic and demographic change. So that's my perspective for the week. Okay. And last but not least, of course. Sorry, that Lillian. Yeah, my name is Lillian Salin, and I study a master program in Umeå uh, in Sweden, North Sweden, and uh, I study a master program in public health, and mm -hmm. I have a background in um, environmental health, and I'm a junior reporter, just like my colleagues here, and yeah. uh, I'm in another team, so I look into environmental health. Okay, uh, well, the week is nearly over. Tomorrow is the last day, but unofficially Thursday is usually the last day. Uh, do you guys have any uh, highlights you'd like to share? Uh, yeah, it's really nice to have here because uh, we are hearing that what is going on, uh, especially in developing countries. Uh, because and uh, we heard that uh, the Asia is going to lead uh, the uh, rest of the world, especially Latin America and Africa. That how we can uh, deal with these water issues and uh, sanitation problems. Mm -hmm. So uh, these new things are coming. Uh, uh, I guess uh, to know that. Will lead or something. Mm -hmm. And anything you uh, want to say in particular? Uh, well, I think the interesting thing is about how to identify different and um, identify different uh, slum areas in urban areas because it's so important to to see how the cities are constructed. Mm -hmm. So that's the most interesting part, I think, to oh. identify how the urban Typologies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's also the theme of the year. Uh, yeah. Next year is uh, food and water. But and for you, what would you, uh, what would your message be? Well, I have two points, and uh, two points. But <laughs> I have attended one seminar about yeah. post-conflict and uh, fragile states, and uh, that I think it's very interesting because uh, that is a special context that is lacking behind uh, mm -hmm. a lot in uh, Wash and. Uh, and they have some very special needs mm -hmm. and it's very interesting to listen to that and uh, then also that many of the seminars talk about the cost of mm -hmm. sanitation yeah. and water but I would rather state the cost of not doing interventions because uh, we have to both look at the environment and the health of people and we should not only uh, look into economic measures but also like it's an economic cost to not do anything mm -hmm. in the wash sector, water and sanitation okay. sector. Okay, well thank you very much. It's Yeah, we, we have to stop because time is up. So uh, enjoy your last days, I would say. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks.